And we're back for more Mystery Case Files. We're going to be playing the bonus chapter on your Gibbs, of course. Let's go into uh, Extras. And we'll get into the bonus chapter here. Uh, of course, we will continue to play on it good old easy, because why would I want to make it more difficult than it has to be? Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts on this game. Uh, definitely, I would put it in one of my favorite of the recent Mr. Case Files games, for sure. No, Jacob. What you're suggesting is atrocious. A crime against humanity. It's the only way, Harold. In spite of our efforts, she's dying. No, I refuse to believe that. She'll find her strength. There's no time. We have to operate immediately. I'll send my assistant to check on her condition and prepare for surgery. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Hello. What's that noise? Sounds like I got a message through the pneumatic tube. Morphing objects, 31 out of 42. Uh, if you do spot one of those, just shout it out in the... Uh, oh, there's one right there. In the comments, thank you very much. We'll try and get as many of those as we can. Like, this just looks really nice. I love the air cell they went with for uh, this one. We have to build this, apparently. Oh boy. Okay, so I assume the saw has to one, two, one, two, one. I did two and then one. Okay, so those two are fine. So that has to be. Let's give each of these one rotation. Good old brute force here. Okay, so those need to go. that does for us. Puzzle right off the bat. Okay, so the heart's not looking good. This one needs two. One, and then one. Okay, that's this should do it. Oh, crap. Oh, no! Yeah! Why is there a heart between two saw blades? Nobody knows, but that looks pretty gruesome. What do we have? What do we see? Come to the operating room as soon as possible. I need your assistant. It's quite urgent, Jacob. We got stuff. Keys and brains and all sorts of things here. Just poke around here first before we uh, leave. I love the bed. Man, that's a fancy looking bed. Dr. Huxley's instruments are locked in that workshop. Usually, it's off limits even to me. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> we broke it. Here we go again. I thought I'd repaired it. Seriously. That happened in the main game. It's broken again. We did get a dummy larynx out of this deal. Fireplace looks rather cheerful, especially since the rest of the house is usually somber. Okay, let's go to the hallway here. Hello? Morphing object. There we are. Objectives. We need to proceed to the operating room. That is our objective. And uh, what do we have over here? The clock doubles as a cupboard, but it's rarely used. Oh, what do we have here? With the handyman on leave, I'll have to fix everything. First, I need something sticky. Okay. Or Mrs. Huxley is quite ill. I don't think she has left her room today. Your operating room is locked. We have a key. Look at the pictures on the ceiling. <laughs> this just makes me think right now. So, in my new house, I've been here for... Uh, just under a year at the time I'm recording this. And uh, I don't have any of these sort of things on the wall. It's really not going up the stairs. I never thought of actually hanging stuff like that. How in the world does it stay there without falling down? Wow. I think I'd like to put a mirror up there so I can like, check my hair and make sure I'm all handsome. 
You are to check Meredith's condition. She gets weaker by the minute. Harold will surely crack soon. She must be stable for the operation. I'm counting on you. Report to me straight after. The situation sounds dire. I must examine this is actually right away. No time to lose. Well, there's time to gather up morphing objects, obviously. Wow, why, why is your coat all bloody? Excellent! My fingers aren't small enough to grasp this bar. Ooh, I bet you that vial will go on our lab. Let's try that. Aha! Ooh! Red plus yellow makes orange. Orange. Dr. Axley is a brilliant doctor and a visionary, but he's quite untidy. Where are his medical supplies? Yeah, seriously, untidy, mister. Yeah, we do need a morphing object. I love this. I love that it's morphing here. That is such a nice visual cue. Very easy to remember if you found the uh, collectible or not. Oh, there it is right there. And our brain is gonna go and do brainy things. Eat some glitter. I'll take that button hook. Snag a bag. Anything? This is the examination kit, but it feels light. I don't think it's complete. Hmm, all right. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I love the way that they do these hidden object puzzles. Very thematic to the game itself. Oh yeah, that's right, morphing uh, ladybugs. Or, I don't think they're actually morphing, but... Anyways, yeah, no, I really love the way they've done, uh, it's not just a pile of trash, like, this is actually a book, a medical book. Cool, cool. Tooth card. Uh, oh, I see, there it is, right there. Very nice. Syringe. We're just opening up our friend here. Learning all about his bits. Now we need a foot. This is a. What, what a. F I mean, I know what a foot looks like, but what is it gonna. Oh, shush. I hear you. <laughs> Somebody's whispering in her ear. I don't like it. Stop. No, oh, seriously, where's the foot? Oh, man. Okay. Very nicely hidden. And we get to do it again. This is all about the baby. Oh, my gosh. You know what kind of makes me creeped out about this is how do they know this? Like, they would have had to have, in the early days, like, worked with humans in order to understand this. Because there's no such thing as x-rays back then. Well, you know what I mean, like in the early, early days, they would have had to, like, use real bodies to learn all this stuff. And then somebody with a very good, uh, you know, ability to draw would have had to draw all this stuff. Okay. And that baby just went out! Oh my gosh, we just had a baby! A skeleton baby. I guess the baby was breech first, right? Butt first? Bum first? Okay, so we now have a list, which I think is going to be what we put over here. Skizzers, stethoscope, tongue dispressors. Um, there, and I think we're good. We have everything we need. Now let's go examine. He won't even let the maid clean it. Look, the sink is clogged. Have. What do we see? Scrub brush. Nope. Sealed document. Okay. 
Okay. Don't forget the larynx. Good thing I got it. I now have a trephine and pins. Hmm. It's whispering. Hallway. Uh. I don't think any of that's gonna work. Oh, never mind, that did work. I did not expect that to work. <laughs> don't you love that when you're like, there's no way that's working, and you try it, and it's like, oh, uh, yeah, that worked. Examination bag? Hmm. Not sure, maybe we go back downstairs and give the dude his examination bag. Here you go, bud. I don't have a sealed box. What do you want? Never mind. Apparently, we had to go back this way. Uh. Hmm. Okay. We're melting away the wax. Apparently, that's what we needed to do. Melted wax and a metal. Wait, do we actually have a map? We do. Interesting. Current location. You have something to do in the hallway. What do we got? What do we see? Nope. Put that over here. I don't think so. Uh, horse figurine. Maybe we can put this here. So that we can make two of them? Yep. Now to create a handle. Uh, with my horse. Of course. Clock ornament. Hmm. Metal. I don't think it's the metal. What does our map say? No, we definitely have to do something here. Oh, okay, let's put the metal on the dude. What do we got? What do we see? Oh, my word, Mr. Harold let his imagination run wild when he was building this place. Uh, okay. Move the flower token to the slot at the top on the board without hitting any of the obstacles. Ah, here we are. Holy mackerel, it moves fast. We gotta move quickly. Oh boy. Come on. Uh. You know what? I think we're gonna put it right over here. Uh, sure. if that was gonna make it or not. Oh, shoot. Okay, so clearly I have to... You know what? Just stick it in there, I guess. Oh, man, I can't even... Oh, there we go. Come on. Uh... Oh, boy. We have to go this way. Hello? How am I gonna get in there? Uh, this is where I ran into troubles last time. I have enough moves. Yeah. And that's how we open the door. I never knew that would open the door. It seems every manor has a secret or 50. Oh my gosh, no wonder Dr. Huxley has, was so concerned. Mrs. Huxley looks like she's already got one foot in the grave. Wow, that's kind of... The dark? Oh, look at the bow. 
Very nice. Hello there. She looks awful. Well, that's just not very nice to say that, but I guess it's the truth, right? It's the truth is what hurts the most. It's also what sets us free. Okay, so what do we got? There's a wide open window over here. Ah, we have one of those. And we have a flower, which we can use back outside. Oh, should we investigate her? We made the litter. Okay, we'll come back to that. I'm going to see what else is out here. Uh, oh. Clock ornament. Ah, it's to go over here. Very pretty. All that for a pin holder. Very nice. We have a little purse of pins. <laughs> Why do we need a purse of pins? I don't know. We'll have to find out soon enough.